that this is springtime like good old lemonade. And nothing says Arkansas like a recipe that's almost 100 years old. Today I'll be meeting with Jacinda Jones who'll talk about this recipe and her family's history and her grandmother, Aretha Jones. Hey y'all, you already know who it is, your favorite museum director, Key, where we talk about all things Arkansas, African American history and culture. Let's go check out Jacinda and some of this amazing lemonade. Let's go. Hey y'all. Hello, hello, hello. So Jacinda and I, we're about to blend some things. Not really. I'm I'm not a I'm not a cook, I'm not a chef, I'm not a mixologist. But Jacinda is, right? I mean, you really know how to make things pop, make things flow and work in the spirit of, of your family's history of your grandmother. So tell us first a little bit about your family's history. Tell us about Aretha's beverages and where it came from. Well, they the beverages were definitely inspired by my late grandmother, yeah. Aretha Pearson Jones. Um, she was born in Atkins, Arkansas. And uh, she was a child of a sharecropper. Um, the family was out there in the field doing what they do, yeah. sharecropping, and um, she was playing. And so her dad told her one day, look, you can't continue to play. You either have to work in this kitchen for those that are in the field right. or um, go out in the field and work. Yeah. So she chose to go in the kitchen and work and with her mother. And as a result, she was always, you know, helping her mom, you know, getting this and getting that. So growing up, she decided, hey, let's put some mint, some fresh mint that was growing yeah. wild close to the house and, uh, and some tea. And she made the sweet mint tea. Wow. So the first thing she did was she made the the sweet, sweet mint tea. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about the sweet mint tea. I know it has a long standing tradition in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. It does. So uh, when my grandmother came up here, um, here being in Little Rock, yeah. Arkansas, she left Atkins, came to Little Rock, and she joined Bethel AME Church, yeah. one of the oldest Bethel, yes. um, AME churches in, our, in the state of Arkansas, and, um, created in 1863. She joined that when she came. Um, in the 30s, uh, in the late 30s, and she became a member. Mm -hmm. And as she just took what she learned from the fields, from the kitchen, from the country, yep. and yep. brought her country way, yep. <laughs> her country <laughs> to the big ways. country of Little Rock, <laughs> to the big country of Little Rock. <laughs> and people really enjoyed, you know, those little small things that she was creating. Yeah. So um, from there, it just started to kind of blossom. So were you in the kitchen with, because I can remember, now my grandmama didn't cook, but my great grandmother, I remember making certain recipes and being in the kitchen with her. Did you do that with your grandmother? Yes, we had to. It was, <laughs> I mean, oh, oh it with was a choice. A prerequisite. Oh, yeah, okay. we, I mean, we had to come. But she made sure that she fed us, she took care of us, yeah. and as a result, we loved being in the kitchen. In the kitchen, yeah. And actually, when she broke her arm one year, and it was during Easter, around this time, Easter, and um, she broke her arm, and literally, I became her right hand. Oh, that is so funny. <laughs> so, come on, um, baby, come in yeah, here and learn. Yeah, yeah, so I was kind of forced to kind of learn some things. Yeah. You know, she was speaking to me, and I was just doing what she was telling me to, uh, to do. Wow. So let me let me ask you this. You learned and you grew from your grandmother picking up on some of the things that she did. Mm -hmm. so why do you think it's Im important to kind of keep these traditions going? I mean, you, your grandmother's legacy, we're talking about over almost a hundred years. Why do you think it's important to kind of keep this tradition going? Oh my gosh, one reason is because whenever my grandmother prepared food, whether it was for her home or whether it was for a catered event, um, it was bringing people together. Yeah. And I think that's one thing that we are kind of slowly getting away from yeah. is coming together and being, no matter what our backgrounds are, food always brought us together. And to continue to do that, I think is a must. Listen. Yes. Whenever I drink these, mm -hmm. I feel timeless. Mm -hmm. Like it really kind of takes me back. I can't, I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's something, I don't know if it's a little bit of grandma with a little bit of history, with a little bit of love. Oh, yeah. It just has like such a timeless, sweet, rich taste. Like how do you, how do you bottle that? Where does that come from? Uh, watching, learning, listening. Yeah. 
and just being inspired to continue something that will hopefully, you know, generate a little bit of uh, Southern hospitality, yeah. you know, in a bottle. That's you awesome. Know? Uh, yeah. So let's talk about the three okay. flavors that you have mm -hmm, here today. Mm -hmm. So what's the first one over here? Um, this is our Aretha's uh, Sweet Mint Tea. Okay, Sweet sweet Mint Tea. Mm -hmm. And then the middle one is? Spice Jar Punch. Spice Jar Punch. And? Strawberry Lemonade Strawberry with Lemonade basil. with basil. Yes, so yes. If, if you all don't know, this one very right here is very near and dear, sweet to my heart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly because the Mosaic Temples Cultural Center is, is partnering with mm -hmm. Aretha's Beverages. and. The strawberry mm -hmm. lemonade with basil is the official drink yeah. of Juneteenth and the Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so for us, it's really important to make sure that we're always remembering our history. Mm -hmm. So is this a family affair? Is this something that you do by yourself? Is everybody involved in continuing the legacy of your grandmother? Everybody's involved. Everybody who has gone on has been involved and people that are still here are involved and actually with the sweet mint tea i was missing a component when i first started yeah, making it yeah. i was missing something and i remember my my dad who passed away in 17 um he said what you're doing is forgetting the blah 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 oh. i can't tell you the secret but and i was like <laughs> that's it and i just and when he said it i remember just growing up seeing her do that, what he said. But you didn't remember until your dad said until it. he said it. So everybody has something that they have poured inside of here, yeah, you know, that yeah. are still with us today. So yeah, okay, a family affair. So what are your plans? Like, where do you see Aretha's Beverages going? What is, what's your vision for Aretha's Beverages? Definitely, I want, definitely Arkansas to love us first. I love it. If Arkansas loves us, I definitely feel like the whole country will start loving us. I love it. So I can say this Arkansan loves you. And I know several Arkansans. <laughs> Listen, whenever you all are with us and you're working with us and we have events at the museum, people are like hands down. Did you try? Did you try to? Did you try to? Did you try to? Did you try to see? People absolutely love it. So Arkansas loves you. And so if folks want to know how they can get some of these amazing drinks, how can they reach out? How can they get some of these drinks? Definitely go to our Facebook, right? Instagram, and even our website, okay. AretasBeverages.com, okay. and they can order and that's how they can enjoy. And we are gonna be in some stores here soon. So yeah, the local uh, farmer's market, yes. And local grocery stores and mom and pop stores, yes. Well, thank you, Jacinda, yes. for keeping Arkansas history alive and yeah. for keeping your grandmother's legacy alive and for giving us some tasty treats that I just think is just the perfect drink for this spring, definitely for this summer. Don't forget the strawberry uh -huh. lemonade with basil. Yeah. Um, and it, it's really important that we continue to preserve Arkansas history. And I think that there's no better way to unite everybody than with food and drinks. So thank yeah, you for yeah, sharing yeah. with us today. Fun fact, or as I like to call it, a little lang yap. Aretha Pearson Jones served several governors from the 70s all the way into 2002. She's truly an Arkansas treasure. I'm so happy that Jacinda and her family are continuing to remember the spirit and preservation of her grandmother and her family with these amazing beverages. Don't forget, if you wanna grab some, we want you to do that in support of Mosaic Templars Cultural Center and Juneteenth in the Rock. There's no better way to support our community than buying a case for your mom, your dad, your business. We want them all over Arkansas and all over our country in order to support Arkansas's black history. Other things coming up, because you know I can't leave y'all without making sure you're keyed in. The 5K registration is open. If you wanna run for a good cause, make sure that you register for Juneteenth and the Rock and our 5K raise. All the information about all the fun stuff that we have coming up for Juneteenth is at JuneteenthLittleRock.com, so make sure you go there and visit. And another little nugget that you may not know about, but it's coming up on the horizon very soon, Mosaic is planning for an amazing grand reopening that's happening this fall. And you're gonna to start to see some snippets of it happening in transformation form in May. So continue to watch our social media and stay tuned to see what's happening next. I'm about to open my beverage, but I don't want you guys to see me being very unladylike doing that. 
So until next time, you guys have been officially keyed in.